Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Rose Gal haul. So these are my first impressions of the company. Thank you so much, Rose Gal, for reaching out to me. If y'all want to receive 18% off of any item listed on their website, then use my code RG2020. I will have everything linked down below in my description box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into so it. So the first item I have here is the Plus Lace in shirt t-shirt i got this in a size 4x this item does go up to a size 5x and it's in the color black so about this particular top i love it for one it fits my body beautifully i love the lace detail in it like it is i feel like durable lace you know how sometimes with certain pieces um even with the one that i have on right now you know it's a little questionable as far as whether or not it may fall apart in the washing machine you never know but this lace seems very durable so i had on a black bra underneath of it and i love how it's still you know even though it was a bra strap you still could barely see it because it blends in because it's black so it looks very nice on my figure i feel like even though this is a black top it is something that you could wear during the summertime it gives you a little bit of a breeze with the lace and this is definitely something that you can dress up in the fall as well so i'm a very big fan of this particular piece i love lace i think that's my thing especially too i love the color of black i love wearing black a lot and i love the uh the lace material as well and how it looks on my skin tone so i'm a big fan of this particular top um i know with companies like rose gal people question the material and how well things are made and things like that this is one of those pieces that is very well made um as far as this shirt is concerned i feel like it's something that would last um a good amount of time it's not something that you wash a couple times and then you need to throw away this is one of those long lasting pieces so the next piece is the plus size v-neck trapeze tank top i actually got this in a 5xl and the reason i did is because i wanted it to fit a little bit big on me with this being my first time trying out this company wasn't sure about sizing it's very important uh when you are shopping with rose gal to look at the measurements you can't go off of oh i usually wear a size 3x or i usually wear a 2x you can't go off of that you have to look at your measurements if you're somebody like me you don't really know your measurements uh one thing that i did is i compared the sizing with another company i went into my email um it was quite a long process but i wanted to make sure i got my sizing as close as i could this time i didn't want this haul to be a flop so I went into my email history and I looked at my um, my order emails from other companies and I looked at my tops and my jeans and that kind of thing. And I went to the websites of those companies and I matched up their measurements with Rose Gal's measurements to see if I can get it as close as possible. So that was a lengthy process. It's a lot easier to just know your measurements beforehand. But my name is Wendy and I don't usually do that kind of thing. So uh, I will have my measurements going forward. But I said all that to say that I love this top. Um, I got it because it is a tank top. I need more tank tops. I know that we are probably getting closer to the middle to end of summer. But I only have like maybe one tank top that I wear, you know, on a regular basis. So I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to have a piece that I could dress up and dress down as well. So I went with this particular uh, trapeze tank top and I did get it in a 5X. So if you are uh, somebody with my shape, just keep that, you know, keep that in mind. I am about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, um, 300 pounds plus. And I usually wear a size, honestly, it depends on the company. I could wear a 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, whatever. It depends on how that company's sizing is and how the items are made. And this, I did get a 5X. So you can see in the video that it does fit very loosely on me. Um, I love this little detail up here. I'm not sure what you call this lace. I don't know, but either way, <laughs> it's very durable. Like I'm not worried about this falling uh, apart in the washing machine or anything like that. And it has this little peephole on the back. So this is on the back end of it. Um, it is a little bit see-through, but not to the point where it would bother me. I usually wear uh, black tank tops underneath of all of the pieces that I wear just to, you know, keep the sweat in control, to be honest with you, and uh, uh, do like some tummy control. So with me already wearing a black tank underneath, like a very, very thin tank that kind of sucks me in, I'm not too worried about um, it being see-through. So just wear a black bra with it. Um, and it does hang and flow. So if you're 
you're worried about your belly or anything like that, it does cover that, at least on me it does. So if you are shorter than me, then you wouldn't have anything to worry about. So I love this y'all. A black tank top, I'm all about it. Um, for me personally, I'll probably wear it with some jeggings. I love jeggings, those are my jam or some uh, jean shorts. So the next piece I have is the plus size drawstring slip tank top. Now, I messed up because I did get this in a size 5X. I was thinking that maybe it would be um, a little bit on the smaller side. I was looking at the measurements, so I said, okay, let me go ahead and get the biggest size available to see how it'll fit on my body. It was too big, y'all. It's pretty much a dress on me at this point. I definitely wear it as like a mini dress. It's a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. Um, it does have to where you can take up the strap, so I can absolutely do that. And then I did use the drawstring part in the middle, so that is a functioning drawstring. I know a lot of the times with these pieces, um, they'll have drawstrings or buttons, things like that, and they're just for show. They don't really have any functionality, but this does. So um, I got it in a 5X, like I said, and it fits like a dress on me. So that could be something I could do, or I could throw some leggings or jeggings underneath of it, or I could pass it along to a friend. So that may be what I do, the latter option, pass it on to a friend, but it's a beautiful color, y'all. I adore it. I think it looks great on my skin tone, but I got the incorrect sizing. So I would say if they still have this piece available, maybe you should size down for sure, maybe even one or two sizes um, if you want it to fit, you know, kind of snugly on you. Um, it is long snugly, that's not a word. If you want it to be form fitting on you, then maybe you need to size down one or two sizes and then I would say also keep in mind that this is a long piece. I didn't realize it was this long either. Um, so, you know, you could wear it as like a uh, tunic style with leggings or jeggings, that kind of thing. Next shirt is the denim pattern cuffed sleeve lace panel ruched tee. I got it in a size 4X. What I would say about this piece is uh, when I was looking at it on the website, I was thinking to myself, this may or may not be my style, but I'm willing to try it. And you know what? Stepping outside of my comfort zone, I realized that I like the way the top fits on me. I, in particular, love the sleeves of it. Um, I'm not ashamed of wearing sleeveless tops or tank tops or anything like that. Um, but I do also know that I don't want anything restrictive on my arms as well. You know, I don't want anything squeezing them. So I took a look at this top and I said, well, let's go ahead and pick it up. And I like it on me. One thing to know, though, is that this is a shirt and that this is not actual denim material. Like it's a, a silky type. Type of material so if you're looking for this to be like you know feel like jeans or denim it does not uh, there is a button right there as well is this a functioning button it is not a functioning button so you can't unbutton this it's just there for show it's a cute little button though and the top fits beautifully on me it is a little on the bigger side i would say that i would size down on it i got it in a 4x again going by measurements and really trying to not you know get things that are too small for me so i went with the 4x i would size down i know some people when they look at the rose gal site um you may have to go through a few things to see if you find your style i would say that it definitely may be geared towards a younger crowd um there are some pieces in there that would i say that they're contemporary maybe if I'm using that word correctly, maybe a little bit of a contemporary style, maybe a little bit alternative. Um, it's definitely, you know, some pieces in there that I think would fit for everyone though. You know, if you look through there, y'all can see the pieces that I picked out. I think I picked out things that fit my style and my personality. So I feel like it's the kind of site where anyone can go through and find things that may fit their style and personality as well. So saying that, I usually wouldn't go for anything, even though I love lace that has this lace kind of detail in the front, you know? Um, some pieces I think that have that maybe are not the most age appropriate for me, maybe a little bit of an older crowd. This particular case, it really set this piece off. It gave it a little extra something that I think if it didn't have that, it would be missing something for sure. So I love this. Again, this is something that I would possibly um, maybe wear jeans with. But part of me thinks that the jeans, if they're not, you know, matching up with this color, it may look a little off. You can wear this with black leggings, possibly, um, or jean shorts. You know, it's the time of the year. Go ahead and throw on some denim shorts with this, and I think it'll really set this piece off. Speaking of denim, in this next piece, I have to call y'all out, Rose Gal, because uh, I would say that what I received versus what is in the picture and I think the description is not completely adding up. So this is the plus size butterfly 3D jean print skinny jegging. 
Now I got these jeggings in a size 5X, again, going based off of measurements. Now, when you really look at the picture and you look at the description, you're thinking that you're going to get jeggings, but when you get them in person, it's a little bit of a different story. Now they did fit me, and they look real cute on me, I'm not gonna lie. I would definitely layer this piece, wear some kind of tunic style top with it. But as far as wearing them, um, you know, with things that I would usually wear jeggings with, that wouldn't be the case because when you get them, it's just leggings and they're printed to look like jeggings. So they're not really that jegging material. They don't really feel like thick leggings. You know, they're very, very thin to the point where you can see through them. So I was definitely disappointed in this piece. I love everything else in this haul. But when I got to this, I was like, come on, Rose Gal. Did y'all really do me like that? Like, I would say... um they shouldn't advertise it as jeggings, just say leggings, uh, printed denim butterfly leggings. I think that's a better description. Don't put jeggings in there anywhere because then you get someone like me that's expecting them to be the jegging material. Nonetheless though, y'all know it had butterflies on it so it wasn't a complete letdown. Like I said, I'm gonna still wear them based on the simple fact that they have butterflies. I'll just probably wear some kind of long white tunic style top over it, that kind of thing. I could even possibly pair it with the last top that I just showed. But uh, these are definitely not jeggings at all. This is a printed on butt. So speaking of denim, the next piece that I got are the plus size lace up zipper fly jeans. Now I got these in a size 5X, again, going based on my measurements. And uh, they were a little bit off in the measurements. I had a feeling that maybe they would fit me a little bit smaller just based on what I get in a size 24, 26 jeans. I knew the measurements would be just a little bit off, so I knew they may fit me a little bit smaller. But I will say that they fit, however, um, in my behind area, in my butt area, didn't feel like they came up high enough. Like if I sat down, you know, more would be exposed than I want to be exposed. So that's one thing. I just feel like they weren't quite cut right, if that makes any sense. Like I know this is an ongoing topic in plus size fashion when we talk about how denim and jeans and things of that nature are cut and how some companies just, they just don't get it right when it comes to the plus size cut for our bodies and jeans. Now every plus size body is different, but there are some companies that do have different cuts of jeans that can fit different plus size bodies, if y'all know what I'm saying. So uh, this particular pair of jeans, even though it fit me, like I can pull it up, button it just fine, have a little bit of room. When it came to my backside area, it didn't quite come up how I'd like it to come up on my behind. So that was only, you know, that was the one drawback I would say. Um, I love that these have that lace up detail. I inserted a picture of them um, with it with the lace in there and laced up. That's what kind of drew me to this piece. I know that's kind of maybe a vintage style. People don't really rock those kind of styles anymore. Or at least I haven't seen it. Maybe that's something that's coming back in style because I remember having some lace up type of jeans like this uh, back in high school, even middle school. So I think that's what kind of drew me to pick out this piece. So I love it. Again, I love this particular color of denim. Like I think this is my jam all day long, like this medium, um, not really dark wash, but a medium wash type of jean. That's my style all day long. I love all the washes though, white, medium, dark, whatever, but medium really looks good on my skin tone. And not only that, medium pairs very well with a, a variety of different color tops. So that's what kind of draws me to this particular type of denim. So I love these jeans. I just wish they were cut a little bit different. So next we have the plus size puff sleeve A-line dress. I got this in a size 5X. I love this dress. When I first opened up the package and I looked at the dress itself, I thought, well, I don't know if this is going to fit me. It looks a little bit big and it does fit me a little bit big. It fits loose. Yet at the same time, uh, because of that A-line, it kind of, um, it cinches in a little bit at my waist just a little bit even though it is bigger it still looks somewhat good on me so I'm kind of feeling this dress for sure it's a red color I'm not usually someone that wears red a lot to be honest I don't think it's really my color but in this dress I think it does look good on me uh, one thing I would mention though is these uh, these sleeves I know uh, plus size women, we're not usually a big fan of these kinds of sleeves because we do have bigger arms you know we don't want anything kind of um, 
uh, feeling like it's cutting off the circulation to our arms, that kind of thing. So that would be my only downside. I love that with this particular dress, you can wear the sleeves down if you want kind of an off the shoulder look, or if you want to pull it up on your shoulders, you can do that as well. I love that. Uh, when it comes to this drawstring, this is not a functioning drawstring. So keep that in mind. It's not going to help tighten up anything. It's strictly just for show. So you can tie it in a bow, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I love this dress though. I love how it flows on my body. Again, I am a 5'7", about 5'8", as far as my height. And it comes down below my knees. So if you are shorter than me, then it may come down probably to a calf or mid-calf area. So keep that in mind. It's a good length though. I feel like this is the kind of dress that you can definitely wear to work. It can be casual. You can dress it up. Um, it's something you can wear this time of the year, um, even transitioning into fall. It's a great tran transitional piece for sure. The next item I am actually wearing right now is one of my favorite pieces in this haul. I absolutely love it. I took some pictures with it and they are just bomb for sure. So this is called the Plus Size Flower Hanky Hem Applique panel sleeveless blouse absolutely gorgeous piece y'all it has this like lace detailing and i know that i mentioned earlier in this haul that sometimes we don't know whether or not these pieces with this lace detailing will hold up over time and your washing machine that kind of thing but now thinking back towards what i said earlier um i think this is a piece that will last based on um how it is stitched right here it's very strong you know, I don't think it'll fall apart or anything like that. I love how this makes my top half look. I think it makes my breasts look amazing. Um, the buttons that are in the front of this piece are not functioning. So all of this, you know, is strictly for looks kind of thing. Um, I know my bra is kind of sticking out on the top. That's just based on the kind of bra I have on. Now this does have a side zipper. So keep that in mind. There is a zipper over here. So um, I didn't notice that at first, honestly. I just put it right on. Um, so it could have easily ripped, but luckily it fits me, so I didn't have that problem. But when you're putting this piece on, um, don't forget that there is a side zipper, so you don't want to rip that in half. So I absolutely love this top. I love how it flows out at my waistline. Um, if you have a belly like me, um, this piece is very flowy in the belly area, so it makes your waist and everything look really nice. Again, something that I would pair with jeggings or in this case some denim shorts or jeans i had jeans on in the photo that i took and i think it looked really nice and i'm usually not somebody that likes floral i'll keep it real i'm not a big floral girl but i love this particular top next i have a couple of swimsuits that i want to share with y'all the first one no lie when i saw it when i opened the package i remembered that i ordered it when i opened the package i thought to myself is that lingerie because it almost looks like lingerie with the red lace and detailing so this is called the uh, lace overlay skirted tankini set so i got this in a size 4x it is a tankini so um it is a two-piece, but it does have that lace overlay to kind of cover your belly area if you may maybe don't want to show all that, which is understandable. You know, you know, your comfort zone is your comfort zone. Um, the bottoms are very basic red bottoms. They are kind of high-waisted on me. Full coverage is what I meant to say. I can't get my thoughts together. These are full coverage uh, bikini or tankini bottoms. And the top is uh, like a lace tankini top. Let me get it together here. Love the detailing in the straps. It's like a crisscross type of detailing. Now it does have these cups in there, but luckily, and if I would have known this uh, prior, I would have taken them out, but there is a little spot for you to take out the cups. So if you're not happy with the cups, you can definitely take them out. These are a lot bigger than some other uh, plus size uh, swimsuit tops. So uh, my issue is always that the cup is too small. So it makes, you know, my breasts look a little wonky in the swimsuit but in this particular case when you see the video they don't look too bad you know they look pretty good because the cup is a lot bigger size that insert uh, insert cup or cup insert i should say so when you get down and you look at the little lace so this lace is see-through so it's almost as if you are wearing like a tank top not tank top like a two-piece bikini but you have that lace kind of covering it up so um it leaves a little bit of something to the imagination but not really if you know what i'm saying i love that lace detail Detailing, and it is something that I think will hold up over time. This is one of my favorite pieces from the haul for sure. Um, just because I think it's very versatile, even though it is a swimsuit, you could definitely wear this as like some lingerie for sure. If you had maybe some different bottoms, 
you can switch it up and do whatever with this. So I think this is a really cute piece. Again, I'm not a red girl, but I think this looks really good on me. So this next swimsuit, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that this is my jam. It definitely screams Wendy. So this is the plus size butterfly handkerchief tie boy short tankini swimwear so it's a mouthful for sure i got this in a size 4x one thing about this swimsuit i would say is the bottoms the bottoms are like shorts and they were tight on my thighs they fit around my my belly my waist area but they were very tight on my thighs so that's the problem that i run into with shorts honestly especially when it comes to swimsuit type of shorts i usually steer away from those and i go towards more of the bikini bottoms um full coverage type of bottoms and i stay away from the shorts because they were very tight on my thighs for sure so that was one problem that i had um other than that um, maybe if I pull them up a little bit more and then maybe just go into my inner, not inner thighs. Is that what I'm trying to say? If they don't sit so far down on my thighs, I may not have a problem. So I may just have to pull them up more. But the top, I absolutely adore. Some things to keep in mind about the swimsuit top is that you can uh, take it in with the straps. That's one thing that I didn't do in the video, unfortunately. It would have made definitely a big difference for me. Um, you can see how my breasts sit in this particular bathing suit top. So I should have definitely brought it in more. And then one thing to keep in mind as well, um, this is a functioning drawstring. So you can bring your breast in closer um, if you wanna make your cleavage pop a little bit more. So I love that about this piece. I love how long and flowy it is. Like this is a true tankini style, I believe. So if you are someone, you're not, like I said, into the two pieces, I understand this is definitely a great piece for you. And then y'all know it's so near and dear to my heart because of the purple butterflies. So the last two outfits that I have are more along the lines of loungewear and sleepwear. So this first set is the Sleepy Girl Graphic Short Sleeve Pajama Short Set. I got it in a 4X. It only goes up to a size 4XL and y'all this little sleep set is so cute I've really been into those two-piece type of sleep sets lately so I love that they have shorts in the top to match I think they're so cute so I picked up this little uh short set I love that the shorts I think they have like little eye mask on them I wasn't quite sure what those are supposed to be eye mask or maybe bows y'all comment down below let me know what you think but these they are really cute pink shorts and they fit my body I think pretty good and then the top just says sleepy girl on there so um it's just a little cute sleep set you know something cute to lounge around in again something great for the holidays if you have family over and everybody's in their pjs something appropriate to wear if you have somebody in your home very cute little short set and the last piece is the plus size printed tie pj set in the size 4xl for this particular set because it is a two-piece and it has almost like a a sports bra slash crop top feel to it. Um, I had a bra on when I was trying it on, but I think that my breasts look great in it without the bra, especially with it being a sleep set. Um, it feels like a silky type of material and it has like this light leopard print. It's very light. So I would call this even like a gray set with this light uh, leopard print. Um, almost like a neutral kind of vibe if you're not into the wild leopard print colors, pink and, um, you know, brown, all those different leopard print colors, then this will be something very subtle. Um, the pants, I call them my hammer time pants. You'll see at the bottom how they're made. They're kind of big and cuffed at the bottom. Um, this feels great on my skin. If you're a big texture person, it's very silky and smooth on your skin. And um, as far as how it fit me, it fit great. I could even possibly go down a size if I wanted to. But again, this is loungewear, so you want to be super comfortable. Um, the keep in mind is that this is not a functioning drawstring. So you can't, you know, tighten this up and think you're going to tighten up the pants. It is just for looks. So um, I would say possibly possibly size down one from your typical size. I like the size that I picked out though, honestly. I feel like it. Um, it's very comfortable and loose and I can sleep in this with no problem. I adore these pants though. Like even if you didn't wanna wear the matching top with it possibly, if you don't really feel comfortable in it, you can throw on a t-shirt with this or a little tank top. Very comfortable pants and they're stylish as well. As far as how everything came packaged, it did come in these bags. Um, they are resealable bags and they have rose gal printed on them. So I think that that is a 
let me turn it right that is a nice touch um it came in uh bags based on the size of it so bigger items and bigger bags smaller items and smaller bags that kind of thing so um comment down below let me know what you think of the pieces that i picked out for this haul go ahead and browse the rose gal site and if you do happen to find something that you love or that you want to pick up then be sure to use the code rg2020 to receive 18 percent off of your order thank y'all so much for watching and i'll talk to you again in my next video bye